Hey guys, Oi Alligator here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS 4 device, whether it's an iPod Touch or an iPhone. So first of all, you're going to make, need to make sure you're running 4.0. So just go to iTunes, update if you're not already updated to 4.0, you can see I am. And once you're done that, download your device's firmware. Mine's an iPod Touch 2G. You can see I have that firmware there. And you're also going to need to download Redstone. Windows if you're on Windows, uh, Mac if you're on Mac. So I have both of those links in the description. So I'm going to extract the zip file. And you can get a folder. Open that up. And launch Redstone. The execu executable file for Windows and .app for Mac. Now it's going to ask you to browse for your firmware. So mine's right on my desktop here. Just open that up. It's going to process it. And it's going to ask you if you have an iPotage 2G. It's going to ask you if it's an MC model. Now to check that, just go to settings, uh, general, and then about. And then check your serial number to see if it starts with MC. If it does, click yes. If it doesn't, if it's like, for example, MD, just click no. So mine's not. So I'm going to hit next. It's going to connect the server. Patch kernel. And now you have some options. You, of course, you want Cydia. Verse boot is where, sh where it shows um, terminal when it boots. Custom boot logo, you can have that. Custom recovery logo, again, you can have that. You can also have it enable multitasking. I really like it because, uh, as you know, Apple 2G and iPhone 3G don't get it from Apple. But of course, you can easily enable it right here. So I want those. And home screen wallpaper, if you don't enable that, you can only have black again. Black background, again, Apple doesn't allow that on iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G. So enable all that and also battery percentage. So go ahead and hit next. Now it's going to ask you to turn off your device. So go on to do that. Okay, so once you're done that, click next and it says hold on power button for three seconds. And then it says hold down both for ten seconds. Okay, now you just hold down the home button. There you go, you're done. And it says waiting for reboot. Now it's gonna do the process of jailbreaking and it's going to reboot a couple times you gonna hear that USB sound on your machine on your device it's going to say downloading jailbreak data just be patient And you're done. Now wait, wait for your device to finish as well. You can go ahead and close Redstone on your computer now. I'm going ahead and fast forwarding this part. Okay, so it's now booting. Once that's done, you're going to have your iOS 4 or iOS 4 jailbroken and ready to go. Yep, show it off on my computer. Slide to unlock, and there you have iOS 4 with multitasking. So you can see if I double tap, it has those apps in the background. So you can multitask, and you can see you have your wallpaper too, even though this is an iPod Touch 2G. So thanks for watching. Check out my 
website at allyalligator.com. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash allyalligator, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.